All right, today's October 4th. Welcome to Peyton Suds Report. Uh, a couple things I'd like to say. Uh, first of all, we apologize. Last week we didn't have a Suds Report. Yeah. What was going on last week, Peyton? Yeah, we've been so busy the past couple of weeks. First, it was the um, State 4 H show in Milwaukee. Yeah, our daughter oh, showed, we own a horse, and she was in Milwaukee then. Yeah, and mm. then. Uh, not just last weekend, but the weekend before that was the county, oh no, not the county, the high, high school, school uh, competition, regional competition. Yeah, that was last weekend. It was, she's on the Nina High School equestrian yeah, team. Yeah, shout out to you. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. They took second, they're going to state, right? Yeah. The end of October. Great people and a great team. And so we apologize yeah. for no suds report, but we were kind of horsing around, right? Yeah. Um, Peyton doesn't know literally. this. Yeah, we're literally. Peyton doesn't know this, but I'm going to give him a shout out. Uh, Peyton wasn't supposed to make it when he was born. They uh, they gave him his last rights. And tomorrow he turns... 23. 23 years old. Amazingly. Wow. You proved everyone wrong, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean... Both days are nice, but my focus is squarely on something else that's happening this week. Yeah, sometimes you're like a zit. You never go away. You're always there, right? Yeah. Well, hey, it's playoff week. Yes. We are going to briefly talk about last week, the end of the regular season. For those of you that follow the Brewers, it was it was very uneventful, I should say. Yeah, it was yeah, way too be expected. So do they, do they, are they, Peyton, are, are the Brewers, so what happened is uh, last weekend they swept the Mets yeah. and that got them the Central Division Championship. Yeah. They ended the season, they were 10, 12, 14 games in first. Yeah. What did they end the season at? I think they were like five, four. Four or five, five. games in first. Yeah. So do we chalk it up as they're limping into the playoffs or do we chalk it up as they're resting key figures and uh, and pitchers, and they're mm-hmm. just trying to get through the season without a major injury. Yeah, to me, it's kind of, I mean, there were multiple games this week where, mo- where some of their starters weren't even in because they were, like, obviously Garcia and Adamas and Escobar because they, um, uh, they, Recently came off the injured list, and they quick count was, I'm assuming, resting them to get ready for the postseason. And then, in certain situations, you know, guys pitched that wouldn't normally pitch. It would be the high leverage guys, but it was just, you know, to give other guys work and... Because we knew they were already in the postseason. And try to get them some game time situations, but not right. wear them out. Hey, a right. perfect example. We were watching the uh, the Brewers Dodgers. I don't know if it was yesterday game or two. yeah, or Saturday. But yeah. who? Here's a perfect example. Should you go uh, go all out to the end of the year, or should you rest guys? The Dodgers first baseman. What happened? Now? Oh no, that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Max Muncy the. Dodgers were starting first baseman. Um, there was a play where Chase Pearson hit a ball right in front of home plate, and Will Smith, the Dodgers catcher, picked it up and threw it to first, and it was off line. And the Max Muncy, the first baseman, reached to you know get it, and he. Him and Chase Pearson kind of collided, and he did something to his wrist. He might have broke. I didn't hear what happened, what ended up happening, but it looked like he might have like sprained or even broke his wrist. And I think he, I mean, I'm assuming he's out for the whole season. So a day after Clayton Kershaw was put yeah. on the injured list, which I didn't know. Yeah, he won't. He won't be back this year. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that till just now. I'm reading it out of ESPN, actually the Los Angeles Times. Uh, Clayton Kershaw was put on the injured list, um, left forearm discomfort, 
Uh, Jace Peterson ran into the brewer, uh, ran into Muncie, which I didn't think should have been called out. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't run in. So, it doesn't say here, but I think, I think without me going into it, it's a left elbow injury, mm, and I think elbow. it's very possible. Dustin May pitched only five times. What, so I, it's possible that he might be out for the um, playoffs. It says yeah. it says that he's unavailable at this time. So. Yeah, he was down on the ground and writhing in pain. And right? it was the last game of the year. The only difference is the Dodgers were trying to get that American League or National okay. League West uh, title, right? Yeah. Up until the last day. Yeah. Yeah, they had a chance to tie the Giants in full set game. 163, but the Giants won. Yeah, so that was mute, the situation. So anyway, um, and then we played the Cardinals, and we won one out of three. Yeah. And then we played uh, the Dodgers and got swept. Yeah. Um, so basically, I think what Council's doing, I remember when I was young, uh, younger, not young, uh, the Packers, when they, with the Brett Favre era and Reggie White, and then beyond that, they would always try to be healthy in December. Um, if there was guys that needed to sit out a game or two in November, they normally did. And they were almost at full strength in December to close out the regular season and storm into the playoffs. And yeah. I think that's what Craig Council is doing. I mean, it's a smart move, right? Yeah, because why risk, you know, an injury if you know that you already have the division wrapped up? And All right, the next segment, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over... Um, how ESPN has the power rankings of the team, all the teams into the playoffs. Peyton, you can mention something about each team or one or two or just yeah, pass. Yeah. Um, we got to watch time. We don't want this session to go too long. Yeah. But the power rankings, and this is American and National League, um, 10 teams are in the playoffs. Yeah. Number one is the uh, Giants, San Francisco Giants. Yeah, the Giants, they won... Well, they won yesterday, so that was their 108th win. And their offense, they've traditionally been, in the past, like a pitching-heavy team because of uh, where they play their home games. But they've uh, really shown a lot of power, and um, they it's been uh, interesting, too, because... A lot of people didn't think they would do much because they have some, you know, older veteran players, but that, you know, they proved them wrong. So they had in here that they won 107 games. Oh. And they were predicted at the beginning of the year to win 72. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll focus a little bit. We, we can't we can't go into every team, Peyton. Yeah. But I think we'll go into the National League teams. Okay. And then out of the American League, you, you, you make a prediction. Yeah, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. The Dodgers, we know all about them. Yeah. However, they have two of their better players that are going to be. Yeah, and Munchie. Yeah, so are they doing? The, they're doing a. Uh, the Giants get the buy basically. Yeah, right. the, the Brewers get basically a buy, uh, and, and the um, Atlanta Braves. Yeah. And then so it's a two game. It's a one game playoff between two teams. Yeah. And that's tomorrow. And who is that? The Dodgers and Cardinals in the National League. In the American League, it's. Uh, Yankees versus Red Sox. So, wow. That's the one-game series? Yeah. I did not know that. Who wins, Peyton? Uh, I think... I don't know. I think, especially with two key injuries, the Cardinals are working hard. Well, I'm wondering you about... Know, so, so the Cardinals team. play the Dodgers? Yeah. So you think it's possible, huh? There's yeah. no team that was hotter at the end of the year than the Cardinals. Yeah, they won 17 straight. Straight, yeah. And they probably won... Like 18 or 20. Yeah, right. So they could pull it off, huh? Especially yeah. with Kershaw not pitching. But right. the Dodgers do have multiple outstanding starting pitchers. Yeah. Several that could have won a, win the Cy Young. Right. They had a pitcher uh, that pitched against the Brewers, Julius, that won uh, 20 games. Yeah, right. You don't see 20-game winners. Yeah. Every day. Uh, Yankees and, uh, and, Red Sox. and Red Sox, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I Oh, it's going to be such a great game. I, I'm going to lean into it to the Red Sox because, I don't know, the Yankees are just older and they, they you know, kind of, they, 
They went down to the last game of the season to clinch. To get in? Yeah, and I don't know, they just, they began the season kind of rocky, and then they, uh, you know, but the Red Sox, they've been consistent, you know, all season. Who did the Astros play then? The, well, they were top tier team in the American League. Because yeah. if they all, they would play the winner of the Yankees, okay. Red Sox. So, yeah, we have we have the Giants in and the National League and the Dodgers. Okay. Uh, we have the Rays, right? Yep. Um, oh, yeah, the Rays are probably in the number Yeah, one. in number one seed in the American League? Yes. And then we have the Brewers, oh. of course. They have the East Pin as the Brewers fourth, and it's basically what we talked about. Uh, mm-hmm. For the sake of the Milwaukee fan base still waiting for the first World Series, however, we did one, one in 57. Yeah, right. Um, the pitching's fabulous, a great lineup, and they also wanted to say, did they struggle to finish the season, or did they just become healthier? Yeah. Uh, Astros, the White Sox, that's nice. Oh, yeah. We, the White Sox is always a good okay. team. Yeah. The Yankees, Braves, we talked about the Cardinals and the Red Sox. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Um, it's whoever, whoever, any one of those 10 teams, if they get hot and get some uh, right. good good starting and mid, middle relief pitching. Right. It's just getting hot at the right time. I remember many. I remember many years ago. You know, wild card teams never won the World Series, but all of a sudden it happens every few years, right? Yeah, because you know they have to. You know that that they're basically playing postseason games in September because we're you know fighting to get into the postseason, where you know some teams are just kind of. First place teams, they just kind of coast into the postseason. All right, Peyton. American League, who goes to the World Series? Cut and dry. Uh, I don't know. I like the Rays. They, the last, I don't know, eight, ten seasons, they, they, they've really had a good system going, you know, with bringing, they, they can't really spend a lot of money because of their circumstances, but they have a great minor league system, and they just Kevin Cass is their manager, and he he is really great, and they just have a good system and going, and they're just they're a talented team. So, the, who do they play in the World Series? The well. Uh, you can call me a homo, but I'm predicting the Brewers. And who's going to win it? The Brewers. The Brewers in what? Uh, six. Brewers in six. You heard it here first. Yeah. Place your bets, everybody. Yeah. Real quickly, Atlanta's lineup. I do see Arcea is still around there. Yeah, Orlando Arcea. Um, who's their best player, the young guy? Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman? Yeah. He's pretty lights out, huh? First yeah, base? Yeah, he's... Uh, he find he won the MVP award last season. I mean, yes, it was just sixty games, but still, an MVP is an MVP. Yeah. And when he look at his whole career and his body of work, um, I mean, he's just been a very consistent, just really good hitter. So speaking of the Braves, um, real quick. Brewers win in five game series against the Braves. Is yeah. it gonna take the full five? Uh no, I don't think so. I mean I'm you can call me a homer again. I'm hoping for a sweep, but maybe in full game but that, that pitchy I mean, they have to go up against I don't know. I I don't think quite counter set the pitching order, but in no order I mean, Burns would do it from Peralta. Burns could pitch the first game and the fifth game. Yeah. And, because game five is on Thursday. And, I mean, that's... I mean, that has to be an extremely... A, yeah, a potential test. Cy Young Award winner pitching yeah. twice in a five-game series. Yeah. Hey, in the background, for those of you who are Brewer fans and Braves fans, that banner in the background, Milwaukee Braves World Series champions, that was in my mother's room when she was young. Yeah. She gave it to Peyton. Yes. We had it... Um, Framed. Framed. There's several baseball cards of the 1957 Braves. That's an actual yeah. banner. And then the pins that say uh, Milwaukee Braves World Series, those are actually 
actual pins from 57. There's two Hank Aaron cards up there. We have um, Johnny, War Logan. Johnny Logan, Warren Spahn, um, who's, it's a glare. Yeah, Johnny Logan. Yeah. Who, Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews. There you go. Yeah. Eddie Matthews. Um, we also have um, the hit heard around the world. Oh, yeah, Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thompson, but he wasn't on the team when they won. Yeah. So those are some of the players, and there's two Hank Aaron cards. And then, of course, the Brewers on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, they were winning in the seventh inning of Game 7 against the Cardinals. In, yeah. in Game 7. If they would And they lost. If they would have had Wally Fingers. Yeah, wasn't he injured yeah, the whole... Sort of injured. He yeah. didn't pitch the whole World Series, and he was... Right. He was an MVP and a Cy Young. Yeah. Which... <laughs> That's when relievers would go three innings, you know, yeah, back, back in the day. day. All right, so anyway, Peyton, uh, here's the lineup for everybody, for our listeners. Um, Friday, they play in Milwaukee. Braves, Brewers are the home team because of uh, placement and yeah. record. 337 Central time. So it's yeah. going to be a little bit early. Yeah. Uh, the fans got to get their Bloody Marys uh, and Old Fashions a little bit earlier. Yeah, I can't imagine what that cute scene will be. I think it's going to be in the like, 70s. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The roof, the roof could, could be, be open, open yeah. on October 8th. Who knows where the ball will go then, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's Friday. And then the next day they play Saturday back to back games. Oh, no, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's Yeah, they right. do play Saturday. Right. Yeah. They play Saturday. The time isn't there yet in the pitching matchup. So the Braves play us at home Friday and Saturday. Um, and then what, Peyton? They skip Sunday? They, yeah, they skip Sunday, playing in Atlanta for one, two if necessary. And then they, um, I'm hoping this isn't the case, but if it does, they'll go to a fifth. Game five, it would be back in Milwaukee. Yeah, so I think it's um, Friday, Saturday, and then it's Monday, Tuesday? Yeah, and then, yeah, I think they would get another off day, and then... That's what I was wondering. There's yeah, another off day I there. I think, yeah. Yeah, because they would play... I'm looking at it right now, sorry. I, I had it before, but I thought that was odd. I but... think Friday, Saturday... <laughs> Off day Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, off day Wednesday, and then Thursday. And that's what it that's what it is, yeah. Game five would be Thursday in Milwaukee. Yeah. So they would have uh, off on Sunday and off on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you think the Brewers and Brewers and five or I'm sorry, four, huh? Yeah. I just I mean, I'm a Brewers fan, but I mean their pitching staff is just unreal. I mean Brandon Woodruff and Bones were in the top five, or, yeah, top five in ELA, and Peralta would have been right along with them, beside them, but his inning, he didn't have enough innings. So who is their, um, who is their pitching, like who will start for them on Friday, the, the uh, Braves? I, oh, Charlie Morton, he's a, he, he's a, 37 or 38, he's an older guy, and he has pitched for the Astros when they, you know, won the World Series and got into the postseason, so he's pitched some pretty big games in his career. Charlie Morton it is? Yeah. He's 14 and 6. Mm. Um, he has an ERA of 3.34. Uh, yeah, so he's a solid. And then, f yeah. is it Freed or Fried or? Yeah, I think it's Freed. He's fourteen and seven. No. Oh, um, okay. and then is it Smiley? Yeah. That's a strange name. Um, uh, uh, he is ten and um, I'm sorry, eleven and four. <laughs> and then they have Anderson nine and five. So that's what we're looking at. Yeah. So Mort Morton, you think will uh, pitch the first game, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's already scared to quit. Yeah, they they um they were manager of Brian Snicker announced to a first, you know, starting pitcher, but I don't think I mean I would assume maybe Tim Howell quick counter. It's gonna be announced. Burns, how can it not be? Yeah, I think. Well hey, it's gonna be exciting. Uh we have the some playoffs this week. Yeah. Some play in games. Is yes. that, do the games start Thursday? No, tomorrow. I mean after that. Is oh. it? 
Thursday, yeah. Friday, or is Friday the first of the game? No, I think it's Thursday. Yeah, right? shout out to the Packers who beat uh, yeah. the Steelers. Steelers, right? We look really good. I think TJ Watt played a little bit dirty there, Peyton. Yeah. yeah Personal foul, good. tripping. Tripping. Well, it wasn't called. It yeah. should have been called. But tripping. So we've had some good... We're not going to talk about the Badgers, all right? No. We can skip that. No, that's awful. All right. Hopefully when we talk next week, Sunday, uh, the Brewers are 2-0. Yeah. That could be... That could be great. All right, bud. Sign out then to your fans. Okay. And thanks for tuning back in. And hopefully it's in October and maybe a little of November. To remember for the Milwaukee Brewers. Buy some, uh, buy some T-shirts and yes. memorabilia from Kohl's, right? Yep. All right, buddy. Okay. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Yep. Bye.